Hi, I'm Monica Breckenridge, owner of Pink Realty and Pink Real Estate in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I'm going to talk about how to um, avoid different types of foreclosure scams. Once your house is in foreclosure, everybody's going to know this because it's public information. And you're probably going to get tons and tons of letters, tons of people knocking on your doors. And it's very hard to figure out who to trust and who's a scam and who's legitimate. I'm going to go over all these issues with you so that you can determine who to trust and who to work with. Um, you're going to get lots and lots of mail. Uh, there's going to be mail from people who say that they are foreclosure, rescue, and refinance. They're going to help you refinance or um, rescue your house from foreclosure. Um, there's people who are saying that they are going to be doing government loan modifications, that they are government approved and they work for the government and they're going to make them look official. Their website is going to mimic government websites. There is only one government website and that is makinghomeaffordable.gov and that is the only government website to go to as far as avoiding foreclosure. And never, never, ever pay anybody to help you avoid foreclosure. It is actually illegal now to charge an upfront fee to avoid foreclosure. And there's a lot of loan modification companies out there that say, pay me $3,000 and I'll modify your loan. And half the time, or 95% of the time, I should say, they never get modified and the homeowners lose their money. So they've now made that illegal. They've called homeowners or called companies now a Mars company, Mortgage Assistance Relief Services, people who are out to help homeowners. They now have to comply with Mars. And nobody can charge an upfront fee to help homeowners avoid foreclosure unless they are a licensed attorney. That's the only exception. So anybody who is saying that they're going to modify your loan, you cannot charge them an upfront fee, and, and it's illegal to do that. Um, only once their services have been performed, at that point, you can pay a fee, okay? Um, there's going to be people, investors. I am an investor myself, and there are a lot of bad investors out there, so please be careful for the bad investors. Um, I am a good investor, but there's going to be investors who say that they can buy your house and then rent it back out to you. This is actually illegal. The banks do not allow investors to buy a house and then rent it back to you. Um, they make you sign you and the investor and all the realtors. They have to sign an arm's length affidavit. They have to sign contract addendums. All these documents that you have to sign state that you are not allowed to remain living in the property. The banks do not want to take a loss and let you stay in the house. I'm sorry, but they do not want that to happen. So avoid working with anybody who said that who says that they're going to rent out the house to you because it's not possible. Um, that is a big, big warning sign. Another type of investor that you need to worry about is an investor who wants to immediately flip your property on the same day. That is actually illegal here in Colorado. You cannot do that anymore. So you want to stay away from those investors. Um, you you want to work with an investor who wants to buy your house and fix it up and resell it or buy your house and keep it as a rental, which is what we do. And that is the legitimate way to buy a short sell. And there are bankruptcy scams. You're going to be getting lots of letters from people saying that they can stop your foreclosure by filing bankruptcy. Well, bankruptcy does not um, stop the foreclosure. It puts it on hold temporarily. Once the bankruptcy is done, um, this is for non-Chapter 13, once your, once your bankruptcy is done, the bank can foreclose the property. And bankruptcy, if that's your only goal is to avoid foreclosure, well, you're going to have seven years before you can buy a house again. So a bankruptcy, if you need to do bankruptcy because you've got lots of debt, great. But don't do bankruptcy just to stop the foreclosure. Now, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy um, does repay your mortgage and repays your creditors. So that's different. And that could put the, the foreclosure on hold for a very long time until you repay your mortgage. 
Um, but chapter seven, once you're done with chapter seven, the bank can foreclose again. Um, there's a lot of scammers saying that they can help eliminate debt. Um, do not pay them. You can go through different HUD counseling agencies that's absolutely for free, and they will counsel you. Just Google certified HUD counseling agencies, and you'll find the HUD counseling agencies in Colorado, and there's several offices in Colorado Springs, and they can help you eliminate your debt, try to figure out how to restructure your debt so that you can manage everything and help you figure out what debt you need to eliminate. And it's free. All that is free. You don't need to go to somebody for some debt elimination because help is there for free for you. Um, what should you do if you think you have been scammed? Well, the first thing that you should do is contact your mortgage servicer and let them know. You should always try working out something with your mortgage servicer first before you even using anybody to help you with a loan modification or anything like that. Working with directly yourself with your mortgage company is the best option. Um, if you have been a victim, you need to call 888. Um, I'm sorry, this is where you can call to um, seek help. It's 888-995-HOPE, and that is the HOPE hotline. They can't give you legal advice, but they can definitely help you and tell you where to go to turn to for help. Um, you should definitely report anything that looks like fraud or a company that tried to take advantage of you. You should report it to the BBB, first thing, Attorney General's office. You need to call the FTC and report the fraud there. I have actually reported a company that took advantage of a homeowner that I was working with. And what they told the homeowner was that they were going to um, deed the property to that investor, never ever deed a property to anybody. Um, they deeded the property to this investor and said that I'm going to rent out the house to you. Well, because the house was deeded, the bank would not allow a short sale anymore because the person on the loan no longer owned the house. So that house ended up foreclosing, and this company was a complete scam, fraud. They even paid this company to deed the house, to take the house. They paid this company $3,000. So I actually reported this company to the Attorney General's office and the FTC, and as a result, they are investigating this company. And I am not allowed to name the company because they are currently under investigation. So if you have been a victim of fraud, I will go ahead and help you report those companies because they need to be out of business and they do not need to be um, taking advantage of homeowners.